Lessons. I'm really ticked off at that guy. We should just throw him in. Yeah. But can he swim? No, and he should have told us that before we picked him to be on our swim team. Oh. Maybe he's too scared to say anything. Let's go ask Dirk what to do. Sure, and then we'll throw him in. Yeah. They wouldn't do that, would they? You never throw somebody in who can't swim. Oh, I'm never going swimming again. Oh, oh dear. He tried. He said he was afraid of the water. Well, why didn't he tell us that before we picked him to be in our team? He was probably too afraid to say anything. I don't care. He's swimming. Boys, what's all this I hear about making someone who's afraid of the water swim? There's nothing to it, Dirk. Swimming's easy. If you know how to. If you don't, it can really be scary. Oh? Adam, there's such a thing as water safety. I'm going to tell you a story about some kids who made a boy swim. They shouldn't have done such a thing. They dared that young man to swim in the water when he couldn't even swim. The story you're about to see is not a funny one, but it needs to be told. Every summer this happens to someone. It doesn't have to, though, if we all learn about water safety. Anybody can do that part. I can't. I can't swim. So you'll learn. It's easy. Maybe for you, you can swim. I can't. Okay, Smarty, if anybody can do it, let's see Ben do it. No, I can't swim. Come on, Ben. You can do it. I can't swim, I told you. So you could if you tried. It's easy. No, besides, the lifeguard's off duty. Leave him alone. He said he can't swim. Chicken, Ben is a chicken, Ben is a chicken. And you're no mother hen. I am not. And you're a chicken. I am not. Are so. So why won't you jump in then, Ben? Because I'm only watching today. Chicken. 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 Quack, quack, quack. Watch this, everybody. He's nuts. 
Nah, he's a good swimmer. He knows what he's doing. Did you know that most of the people who die in drowning accidents are good swimmers? Don't be such a prude. He's just having fun. I'm not a prude. I just know that you have to respect the water. It's stronger than any of us, no matter how good a swimmer you are. Thanks for the lecture, Rebecca. But if you don't mind, we're trying to have fun. We know you're afraid of the water. The water is stronger than us. I'm not afraid of it. I can swim, but I sure respect the water. There is such a thing as water safety, you know. School's over, Rebecca. I know. Then quit teaching. Oh, I'm going home. There's no lifeguard anyway. Hey, watch this. <laughs> you guys shouldn't be swimming. There's no lifeguard. So, swim at your own risk, right? We can swim. That's not what my teacher says. There are certain rules about swimming that have to be respected, no matter how good a swimmer you think you are. First, never swim alone. You know, many people drown because they're foolish enough to go out by themselves and then they get into trouble. There should always be someone with you. You know, the water is so powerful. God gave it to us so that we can live and so things can grow and he means for us to enjoy it. But we have to be wise and respect it. I'm not afraid of it though. You shouldn't be. Not especially if you want to be a good swimmer. But you don't have to be a poor swimmer to drown. Drowning can happen to anyone. When it happens, it happens very fast. And that's why we have to learn to think about water safety and to respect the power of the water. But what if someone dares you to go up by yourself? Well, a real friend would never dare you to do something that could hurt you. And you've got to be smart enough to know how to walk away from a dare. And remember, when you're playing around water, safety comes first. Okay, that's the class for today, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. They just don't understand. Go for it. Come on, Ben. You don't have to jump in. Just hold on to the edge and go around to the deep end. Holding on? Yeah, you can do that. Well, if I can hold on, I guess. Come on, Ben. Don't be a chicken. Hurry up. Come on. Do I have to? Come on, Come on baby, baby Ben. Were... Man, don't be a chicken. I've never Get in before. there. What if I drown? Get in there, Ben. Come on. Come on. Right. I thought you said you'd do it, eh? All right. Come, Come on, Ben. In. Come on. Everybody likes to have fun around a pool, but sometimes the fun gets carried away. Sometimes people who can swim forget that there are others who are afraid of the water and can't swim. Never push a non-swimmer into the water. Never. Come on, Ben. Come on. That's it. Hey, Come on. You're going to sit there now. It's not. Yes, it is. It's way over your head. Don't say that to me. I can't swim. Well, it's time you learn. Ah. Oh, he's okay. This will teach you how to swim fast. He is in trouble. Somebody help him. Don't worry. He'll swim. Swimming's easy. Come on, Ben. Stop fooling around. forget to respect the power of the water and because some people don't know enough to walk away from a dare. Don't let it happen to you. I'm really sorry. I never realized what I was saying. Even the best swimmers can drown, Adam. 
Don't ever make someone swim who says he can't. Okay, Turk. That's all right. You're good boys. Just be wise. Okay, okay. bye. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye <laughs> now, boys. <laughs> Come on, Vince. It's time to go home. Let's go. <laughs> Bunch of kids who want you to do something you're not supposed to. Just say no. Yeah. Well, your friends want you to do something you don't want to say no, say no, say no, no, no. Cause when something's not right, you've got to know when to fight and say no, 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 no. Some people say it's just a negative word. There's no need to abuse it. Just know when to use it. It'll get you out of trouble. On a double stage. We wouldn't want to hurt them. Yeah. We're supposed to help each other. This story is on secrets. Huey, would you please turn it on? Shh. All right. But can you keep a secret? Not just when you do things that are wrong. But can you keep it a secret when you do good things? There's a reward for doing good things, and an even better reward for those who keep it a secret. But you have to decide which reward you want. Really? What do you mean? Some people can't keep secrets when they do good deeds. The whole neighborhood hears about it. give money to someone in need, everyone has to know. And some people even check to see if someone is watching when they say their prayers. But God wants us to do these things in secret. have a chance to help someone else, do it without a big fuss. And when you give money to someone in need, keep it a secret. And when you pray, go somewhere where you can have a secret time alone with God. What about the rewards? For those who do these things and can't keep it a secret, their reward is to be noticed by other people. That's it? That's the reward? But for those who do these things and keep it a secret, God has good things in store for them. For people who can't keep secrets do nice things to be noticed by others. But people who can keep secrets do them to please God.
Now, whose reward would you rather have? God's. Then, keep your secrets. That was really good. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 What did Dirk say? Dirk really helped me. He said God gave us the water to enjoy, but we have to be wise and respect it. I'm really sorry for the way I acted. I'm not going to throw anybody in. That's good. Look around and see What a beautiful world he's made for you and me Everywhere is love Love that's in a summer breeze Love that blows the autumn leaves All this beauty made for you Someday, any day you want to come. Oh. Circle Square, I love you. I like the songs. Whoa. Is your show going to be on every afternoon? Your friend, Royce. Oh. Thanks, Royce. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Listen to this letter. Dear Circle Square, please send me a songbook and, if possible, a picture of the game. Oh, sure. Yeah. I really love the plays you guys put on. Oh, thanks. I really love the one about being selfish. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. I feel that your show has brought me closer to God. I'm 12 and I watch you so every chance I get. Your friend always, Tracy. Thanks for your letter. We have to go now, and we hope you enjoy today's show, and we hope you learn something from it. Yeah, that's right. Every summer, people get hurt in water accidents. God gave us the water to enjoy. So if we're careful and think of safety first, nobody needs to get hurt. That's right.
Lessons. I'm really ticked off at that guy. We should just throw him in. Yeah. But can he swim? No, and he should have told us that before we picked him to be on our swim team. Oh. Maybe he's too scared to say anything. 